Greetings guys, my name's Ryan. This is the development curve. Okay, so I was going to try and do the hello, my name's Ryan, this is the development curve, but I looked it up online and it turns out Swedish is very, very difficult. Uh, yes, I'm in Stockholm and I have another day off. Uh, it's actually been quite a while since I was in Berlin. Uh, unfortunately, when I'm away with work, they sort of merge into the other, so I can't even remember how long it was since I saw the club. But uh, I've just hit some range balls. Uh, I am actually supposed to be teeing off right now, so I am a touch late and I didn't have a putt. Uh, but let's get out 18 holes ahead of me and uh, have a bit of fun in Sweden. Well guys, Google Translate isn't as good as we all think. So having a look in my hotel room as to where to play golf, found a couple of places that had just nine holes and I really wanted to put 18 in today. Found this place, it said it had an 18 hole course. Uh, turns out it's nine hole course, but you're allowed to play twice. So slightly disappointed, it looks like quite a short course as well. It plays literally around the edge of the driving range, which is just here. Um, but it's getting out, I'm playing golf, so I suppose I'll be happy about that. But uh, slight disappointment off the mats, all those sort of things that you know I hate in the winter. And you know, it's still a nice day. We're at the end of September, but let's see how we get on. First tee shot, not too bad. five holes in and this course is basically a, a par three with two par fours on it um, so very short uh, definitely no need for uh, any sort of driver or even probably anything up to a five iron really um, but I think it's, it's going to be good because I really struggle with with the short holes um, there's no issue with reaching see any of the holes uh, I should be getting greens regulations obviously my targeting He's pretty poor, so uh, it will be a good test. Uh, I'm six over through five. I've had one double and the rest are all bogeys. I haven't got a green in regulation and I can't get up and down. So that's front nine down and the last three holes were atrocious. I did go in the water from that tee shot on the 7th. Went in the water from the tee shot on the 8th and in the trees in the tee shot on the 9th. So just, just not good enough. Um, putting okay, which is probably the only positive so far today. Let's hope the second nine, the repeat, is better than the first. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube world, I am on the 14th hole. I've just played my tee shot and I have finally hit a green in reg. It's taken a long time to actually hit a green and it is also the shortest on the course, but green in reg is a green in reg, which means I must be playing a little bit better. So let's see if I can try and hold this for a birdie, at least get off here with a par. That's quite a cock. 
contrast from the last time I played seven, eight, nine. Uh, I've gone par, bogey, and then uh, just hit green in regulation on the ninth, and another birdie opportunity. So I think I just, you know, just calmed down a bit. I kind of got over the fact that I wasn't playing a, a full size 18 hole course today. I think I just enjoyed the second nine a bit more. I, was, I think I was a bit aggravated first on the front nine, but I have uh, I have this opportunity for a birdie to finish off. Yeah, finally a birdie. I only took 18 holes, but definitely felt better that back nine. Uh, like I said, I, I did relax a lot more and uh, just, just try to enjoy it. And uh, so I haven't really looked at the scores uh, as I tend not to on as I play, but let's get in and uh, I'm gonna start heading back straight back to the hotel. So uh, we'll review there. Okay guys, so back in the room and I've just had a, a quick look over the scorecard. And as some of you may know, I don't like to sort of mentally keep track of the score as I go round. I just try and play hole by hole. And obviously if, I've, if I'm playing well, I try to sort of build on that. Um, so it was pretty much a, a par three course, two par fours. So the, the par was a 58 and I shot a 78. Obviously that's not, not the best, uh, 20 over par for a par three course where I should be getting greens and reg and, and things like that. So uh, the front nine, I was actually 15 over par with, as you can see on the scorecard, some triples and some doubles uh, where I've had to take penalty drops, uh, put it in the water, like I said. Um, so yeah, not, not the best. Uh, I definitely wasn't mentally in the right frame of mind. I was a bit annoyed that I wasn't playing a full size 18 and I was playing a smaller, nine hole course that I was just going to do two laps but second time round and I did sort of relax a lot more obviously I, I knew the holes I'd, I'd already played them once so I kind of knew what not to do and got the right clubs had the right selection and uh, only five over par for for the second nine which for me I feel is is much much better and, and much more attainable um, obviously uh, four bogeys one double three pounds and a birdie, um, that's pretty good. Some greens and regulation there, uh, limited the number of putts. There was no three putts, which is which is good. So I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of The Development Curve. Uh, if you have, please get down the bottom there and hit that subscribe button. That'd really, really help us out here at PJ Live 365 Also, if you hit that bell, that way you'll get a notification every time any of us upload anything new. Also, smash the like button and maybe leave a comment and that will help us with all our lovely YouTube stuff that helps us grow as, as a channel. Uh, but there's nothing much more to say then. Thanks for watching and we'll see you down here at PGO Live 365 again next time. Bye bye.